we need to talk about Dave Filoni. Yes, this is a video I've been meaning to make for a while after these two stories broke back to back, citing Dave Filoni's role in creating the Acolyte series. Now, what is this all about? As you may or may not have heard, it's come out that Dave Filoni, one, talked to Leslie Headland about the witches being in the Acolyte and gave her advice on the witches being in the Acolyte and as well signed off on a lot of the decisions made in the Acolyte series. Now, this is par for the course as he is the chief creative officer at Lucasfilm. So anything that comes across his desk, he gets to review and put his stamp of approval on it or not. But this does not necessarily mean that he is in charge of everything. Now, I was going to make two separate videos on these, but just kind of got backed up with life. So I decided to lump them into this one big discussion video of just Dave Filoni and his stance at Lucasfilm in general. Now, these two stories, again, were that Dave Filoni helps Leslie Headland kind of create these witch characters as well as signed off on a lot of decisions that fans may not like in the Acolyte series. We're going to talk about the witches really quick as the first sort of subtopic to this video. Now, I'm going to provide you guys with a quote from Leslie Headland herself regarding Dave Filoni and how he kind of mentored her around this witch storyline. Quote, Dave Filoni very quickly became kind of a mentor of mine in terms of navigating what this part of the timeline would be like for both the Jedi and then other Force users. It was kind of this aha moment for me when he told me, you know, not all witches are night sisters. And credit to StarWars.com for that interview that Leslie gave that quote to. But breaking down this quote, Leslie basically saying that, yes, Dave Filoni did have a hand in this witch coven in the Acolyte, saying that, you know, not all witches are night sisters, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, giving her the green light, probably even having more of a hand than we know behind the scenes when it comes to creating this coven of witches and what they did for this story and at this point in the timeline. Next up, we have the involvement of Dave Filoni in the scripts of the Acolyte. Now, this also came out literally right after the episode three thing with the witches, with Leslie saying that he helped with that. This came like mere days later. Some of the writers involved on the Acolyte show came out and said, well, Dave Filoni okayed all these scripts and everything that happened in these episodes thus far. Which, I mean, yeah, there's not too much to break down there. Dave Filoni is the chief creative officer. Everything goes across his desk. And of course, I'm sure it goes across to Kathleen's desk as well. But he does have a say in all of this. Which now leads us into the main discussion of this whole video. And that is just Dave Filoni at Lucasfilm as a whole in this new chief creative officer role. Has he done anything good? Is he doing more bad than good? That's up for interpretation, and I want to hear what you guys have to say about that in the comments. I'm just going to give my thoughts on this, as my thoughts are very convoluted, and I kind of just need to get them out there and hear other people's opinions to kind of help me with this confusion I'm feeling, because I was very excited when Dave Filoni got his promotion. I think everybody was, because at that point, he was in charge of, you know, the revamp of Star Wars after... The sequel trilogy fallout he brought us mando one and two and then three was kind of a fall off and made us kind of open our eyes and say well what's going on here because how do we go from mando one and two to three being this kind of all over the place season not even reminiscent of the first two seasons also ahsoka as much as i liked it kind of being all over the place we kind of started scratching our heads and again knowing this stuff about the acolyte now and how he was involved and gave the okay on the cringe witches and the questionable choices in the writing. It's hard to sit here and defend his choices just because we liked Mando season one and two. I don't know if Dave Filoni sees these scripts and these ideas for the Acolyte and thinks that it is good for the timeline and thinks it's good storytelling, or if there is something larger at play. A lot of people kind of questioning Dave's role in all of this, and if he's kind of being controlled like a puppet by KK, Kathleen Kennedy, to okay all these decisions that she wants, and he really didn't get that much out of his promotion. Now, we obviously don't know that. That is a very behind-the-scenes insider thing. If you know, you know type of 
contract. But what we have seen from Dave Filoni after getting promoted is kind of rough. I truly like the man. I like his work. I think he's done great. But at the same time, if he's signing off on things such as the witches and everything that came with it, whether you like it or not, I didn't think it was a huge deal. But seeing the uproar it has created, I, I can't turn a blind eye to that. I'm not going to sit here and act like that hate doesn't exist. And he is partially responsible for it by signing off on this and helping with it. Which, I don't know, man. That's where I want to hear from you guys. If you made it this far in the video, I want to hear what you have to say in the comments. Give me your take on this. Maybe open my mind to this a little more because it's just confusing that Dave Filoni was kind of brought in due to this amazing quality show he brought to the Star Wars universe. A lot of us thought he was going to continue that with Ahsoka and all these other shows that he was going to have a hand in. And, you know, maybe he's just so busy with the Mando movie and his Heir to the Empire movie that he just saw, oh, Acolyte, oh, witches, I like Night Sister magic, and signed it. I, don't, I really don't know. There is so much speculation to go on here about this. I could talk for hours. I mean, maybe I need to do a live stream about this. But for now, those are my thoughts. Um, very confusing, very sad that uh, it has come to this, that we even have to question the man that we thought was going to be a saving grace to Star Wars. But turns out he is behind the scenes, okaying all of these decisions that have just split the fan base and caused even more of an uproar in our community. But I believe that's all I have to say about that for now. I'll make sure to put out in the community tab if I end up doing a live stream of the sorts talking about these current issues in the future. And as I said, for now, I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. I'm looking forward to reading those and responding to them in the coming days. And while you're at it, make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.